couple things. Let me tell you what we're going to do. Might be the highlight of the day. Uh, in just a few minutes, we're going to walk down and see the turkeys first. I want you to kind of experience that. And then we're going to be able to see a little bit of what Rocco's doing here on the farm. And, uh, and then we'll make our way back up here again at any time when we're out here. You can wander to the restroom and then come and find us wherever we're at, okay? Just so that we can have that kind of informal setting. You don't have to wait until one of you're dismissed. If you need the restroom, just go do it and go on back. And then we'll come back and see some of his coops over here. Some, some buckeye breeders are down over the hill here and we'll do some handling of the birds there, okay? I will tell you this. Um, and I take responsibility for this. I do need to do a better job at this. Um, not so much concerned with the turkeys, but if you have, or with the chickens, but if you have shoes on that potentially you wore in the last 48 hours in your chickens, okay, when we get down to the turkeys, I'm going to ask that you not go into the turkey pen, okay? I really need to develop. Uh, way overdue just to send you out a, a packet or a, a form letter that says here how you can prepare because it's always better for us to do this on farm and generally speaking I will tell you that biosecurity in many many ways is highly overrated I really believe God worked in the industry that's a little bit more of we really don't want you to see what we do so don't come past this sign um, but I can also tell you that after 25 years of raising heritage turkeys and then working with an industrialized turkey, they're immune. I had to learn all kinds of medicines and the ways that their immune systems of these genetically engineered birds were, it was so low. So it's not like, ooh, you're going to bring something. But there's, there is, I will tell you, there is, um, there is blackhead, which is a serious pole, or turkey disease in all over North Carolina and South Carolina. And uh, if it's on your farm, you could actually you know, you, you could pass it to our turkeys, but I mean, our turkeys are the genetics, and you'll see the vigor and the livelihood of them. And, um, but so if you wore shoes on your place in the chicken coop where there's potential manure, just the turkey pen. Everywhere else, I'm not so concerned about the chicken and so forth. Now, if something, we lose a bunch of birds in the next, you know, three days, then we'll come looking for somebody in the turkey. That'll be Rocco looking for me. So, all right? All right, so we'll follow Rocco. You, you don't need to necessarily bring notes. You can bring, if you want, you can. There will be some things you might or might not write down, but we'll wander out to the turkeys. Excuse me, I'm trying to bang you. I don't want to bang you. Country. He's been dead for about uh, 10 or 15 years, and uh, this is his line. And, uh, so, you guys, they're liking you, so come down to them. Oh, so cool. If no one else had bad shoes, you're all good.
There can be, yeah. yeah. Definitely can be. So, I'll tell you, if you, uh, just so you can learn about turkey, one of the things I, I said to you earlier today, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to do a lot of talking out here because of the heat, I want you to see it, but uh, you remember, spending time with your flock is how you get to know birds. Your eyes are your best management tool. So I'll come out like what Megan's doing, I'll come out, you know, and talk to the birds, or, you know, um, these birds are, are middle April birds. And, uh, yep, they're all, they were all, uh, uh, there's one week difference in the birds. And, uh, but I do want you to notice if you've ever raised industrial turkeys, look at how long, you'll notice how long the legs are on these birds. The other thing you will notice is an industrial bird is, is horizontal. These birds are up in the air a little bit. Okay, they have an angle to them. That angle is very, very important in the breeding process. It's part of their, their description, you know, and the way that they're identified. Uh, these birds, I don't have the weights with me. We weighed them and uh, we were, our rate of growth was absolutely outstanding. It was really good. So, um, can you tell the toms and the hands a little bit? Oh, yeah, that helps. <laughs> now I'm going to show you how to hold a turkey. All right, you hold a turkey and a chicken differently. Always hold the bird, this guy I probably never held. Always hold a turkey by its legs, okay? Actually, when we judge them, they're done, uh, they're, they're actually tabletop judged. They're not supposed to be walking around when you judge them, because when you, basically, if I lay this bird on a table like that, the judge is on the, on the, on the, the owner. It, the judge comes up to the bird, he can totally look at the wing, you know, he can feel the breastbone, and then all I do is roll the turkey over for him, and he can, and he can look at the bird. See, that's turkey personality for you right there. So, and if you, you know, if you want, now here, the breast is, this is where, this is where it's at on a turkey, you know, and so you, uh, I don't know if any of you want to, I mean, you're welcome to come over. And when you move amongst the flock, just move slow. All right, right now they're like, wow, Rocco, never seen this many people. <laughs> so, but you can see, because of Rocco's, I mean, he's out here with these birds every day, and if it's not him, it's somebody else taking care of the birds. So, typically, if you don't work with a heritage flock, you only visit them once a week out in some far out pasture, they're not gonna be stay tame like this. This is from uh, Rocco's day in and day out spending time with these birds all right so if you want to come over here and feel the breath of this turkey come on over and they're about um you know they're they've got they've got about eight weeks left before we'll process them so and this is the tom yeah uh, they might be 18 to 20 i have to look exactly um well I'd start, I mean, no less than 25, but 50 is even better. Yeah, because you got to select the breed. I'll talk about the breeding side some What do you feel? Pretty good, huh? Getting some meat, and he's about eight or, eight or ten weeks from being processed. We'll probably process him the first or second week of November. And now you got to remember, these are slow-growing birds. These aren't growing fast. Uh, I think we figured he's about... I'd have to look at my calendar, but I think he's about 18 years. What do you think he weighs right now? I'm not good at that. <laughs> Are you? You pick him up and down? Probably 20, 22, 25 pounds. All that meat on there. There's a lot of meat. Yeah, yeah that, notice he's comfortable. Okay? And, and uh, I pick up an industrial bird like this. You turn it on their side, they can't breathe. They're having a hard time functioning. And I mean, 
And I've handled hundreds and thousands and thousands of industrial equipment. See, and he's, he's totally good. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I love bronze. I love, I love turkeys. And then, you know, and I'll catch a handful. Oh, go ahead. Anybody want to take the stab at holding it? Where, yeah, where did this bird come from? I mean, where were they originally bred? Well, this is the Kardosh line, mm -hmm. and uh, we went out to Frank. Reese is a good shepherd, right. and he won't sell them, so we went to somebody who did have his line and, and got pulled. Perfect. Yeah, so they came from Oklahoma. But they're not, they're native to the U.S.? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, these are the 100-year-old bronze. So get down on a knee. This is called, this is a snood on a turkey. Snood. Yeah. All these bumps on a turkey are called carnuckles. Have you heard of a Muscovy duck? Carnuckles. Oh, carnuckles. Have you heard of a Muscovy duck? See them red bumps? Exact same thing. Whenever I'm having fun quizzing 4-H kids, I say, what are you doing? Muscovy ducks having fun. I'm like, what? So she'll take him by the legs, mm -hmm. pick him up, hold those legs tight, and just set him on your leg. And now Jennifer can show off the tongue. Hold those legs. If the wings start, close your eyes. They hurt. Okay. Right? He's like, it's hot in the sun. I'm gonna go back in the shade. <laughs> Is it going to peck me if I pet it? Oh. Is that the male? Keep your hand right there. Is that the male? Yes. 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 And uh, watch those wings. Now, if you ever, when you go to put these birds down, you don't just drop them. No. Right? Best thing you do, especially when you're, you're you got to remember, you're building. It's critical as a breeder. You're building a relationship with your flock. All right. So I want them to know if, if I'm fighting and wrestling around with a turkey over here, you think they're going, huh? Well, I think I'll join in. They're going. They're messing with the brother here, and we need to get out of here, all right? So they know that we're not threatening them right now, and, and the birds that they see us holding, we're not a threat to them. So I'll just put him down on his legs, make sure those wings don't get in my face, and he's done. And he's like, thanks. Okay. Can I get back to some shade now? Now you'll notice he's got, some, he's got a little bit of some uh, crooked toes. That's usually incubation, all right? Could have been when he was young. It's not genetic. So that bird, we could use him for breeding, but we've got enough really high quality birds that he'll go, he'll be processed. Okay? Have you already chosen your breeders? Like how many breeders do you want here? Well, we'll try to keep 60 to 80 breeders. Okay. Yeah. My, one of Rocco's, one of our vision is to be the largest producer of bronze on the East Coast on high numbers of standard bread. And uh, so, yeah, look at them. So how many you need? Oh, so six to eight. Six to eight, 60 to 80. Okay, there's 150, right? They're eating this flock. Unfortunately, they're eating about a ton a, a month right now. Do they ever get too big to fly, too fat? Or too not, old? not good, not, not good birds. Look at these guys. Hey, what's going on over here? We're missing out. If you want, take a look. I think because uh, these turkeys are, you know, they perch, they roost. You come and look at the creative housing. It's about, it's about the same as this. 